Hello, this is Webster from My Therapy Garden. We're playing the dirt, that will take away the hurt. Today, we're gonna to look at one of the most obnoxious pests in the garden, and that's the Japanese beetle. So we're gonna walk in the garden and found those pests and show you how we get rid of them. So come with me. So as we come to the rows, we can find the Japanese beetles just lying in the roses and you'll have three, four, five of them in the roses and they eat the petal of the rose. So this is my beautiful David Austin rose, Jude the Obscure, being eaten by Japanese beetle. Now Japanese beetle have no natural predator. So when we plant the herbs or other companion plant with the roses to attract the good bugs that will eat the bad bugs, the Japanese beetle won't be one of the bad bugs that they eat. However, we can plant companion plant with a rose like begonia. When the Japanese beetle eat the begonia, the begonia have a chemical in it which will paralyze the Japanese beetle and they'll fall straight to the ground. At which time you can either pick them up, squish them, or put them in soapy water or just leave them there for the birds to eat them. So. You can, the first thing we'll do is plant begonia. So the Japanese beetle feed on the begonia, the chemical paralyze them and they'll fall to the ground. The next thing we'll do is get warm, soapy water. With the warm, soapy water, we can put whatever dish uh, washing liquid you want. I use Dawn, just make a little sud and then we bring it under our rose or other flower with the Japanese beetle and we'll just gently shake it. And the Japanese beetle will fall in the water. And we can see them swimming at the bottom there. So the warm soapy water will now kill the Japanese beetle. Okay guys, so the third way of getting rid of our Japanese beetle is by spraying. And we use an organic spray like neem oil. But I'm trying to limit the amount of chemical I use in the garden because of course the chemical doesn't know the good bugs from the bad bugs. So it will kill everything, the Japanese beetle and other pollinators which we need in the garden. But you can always spray them with neem oil and we'll get rid of the Japanese beetle. Okay guys, so the next way to get rid of our Japanese uh, beetle is my favorite way, but it may not be yours. <laughs> so if you're squeamish, like my daughter is, yeah. then you may not want to try this. But we have the Japanese beetle on our petal here. It's a David Austin Rose, Lady of Shalot, and you can see them in the petal. So what I love to do is just to go in and to squish them. Yeah. Just to grab and squish. Therefore, we miss nothing. So we can see them right there pretty much dead okay again if you don't like to squish them you could always just knock them off in the warm soapy water or just pick them off and put them in the warm soapy water so walk with me as we find more Japanese beetle in the garden and we'll get rid of them okay guys I just clean my hand in the uh, warm soapy water and we'll go get more Japanese beetle I know you don't like that uh, my favorite way but we're getting rid of Japanese beetle any way you can, okay? So let's find more of them. Okay, here's another one on my um, JFK hybrid tea rose. So I just drop it in there.
Okay guys, so my favorite way again, we have two right here and I'll just grab him and squish him. And then of course I can always wash my hand in the warm soapy water. Okay, we'll see if we find any more over here. Okay guys, thank you for walking with me to the garden as we find and destroy our arch nemesis, the Japanese beetle. And we look at four ways in which we can get rid of the Japanese beetle. Our number one way is to plant begonia. So when they eat the begonia, the chemicals of that plant will paralyze their body and they'll fall to the ground. Our number two way is to get warm soapy water and just to knock them off in the warm soapy water and the Japanese beetle will die. Our number three way is to uh, spray them with an organic spray like neem oil. And our fourth way is to just pick them off with our hand and either drop them in the soapy water or my favorite is to crush them. Okay guys, I know that's a bit disgusting, but I, I like to do that. That's my revenge on these Japanese beetles. When I can feel them in my hand and I squish them. <laughs> okay guys, so now we look at uh, four ways to deal with a Japanese beetle. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Question, comment, drop a line down below. Share this video with your friends and family. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are released. From my garden to yours, this is Webster from My Therapy Garden. We're playing the dirt, tell me to take away the hurt. And today, we just look at four ways in which we can deal with our Japanese bacon. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.